I wasn't her mom, I'm her auntie, but I'm like, she was like, she was my daughter, you know? She was my daughter. And uh, I raised her, me and my mom raised her together. When her mom got killed, then my mom took over and raised her brother and sister. And then I was there. I moved to Orange County and moved back up here so I could help her a little bit with Latasha and her two um, siblings. And then, um, then my daughter, they were the same age. She didn't want to come live out there in Orange County with me. So I got bored being out there by myself. And so I decided to leave my job and come up here. When I heard about it, Natasha had been um, on the floor up in here about three, four hours dead. And a lot of people were up here and they knew where we stayed. And so the, the, the detectives, they ended up walking around the corner to our house with a lot, a lot of people. And so they um, came with a picture of Natasha laying in a pool of blood and with the two dollars balled up in her hands and asked Mama to identify her. And right before that had happened, somebody ran home and said, you heard about the 16-year-old girl getting killed? So I'm not thinking about this Natasha. And I said, oh shit, it's going to be some, some stuff out here in the hood, boy. That's the way I said it. And um, then when they came there and showed Mama the picture, I was um, running after my daughter and her brother and sister because they ran out of the house. I, they ran out of the house and my mom had to identify her off of the picture. And it was a doozy. It was painful. It was unbelievable. It was like disbelief. Really disbelief. We couldn't believe that was her.
Okay. but the community because not just justice wasn't served it wasn't right and we're going to continue on as family within this community to make sure that her name is not forgotten yeah. Yeah, yeah. and i just want to thank you all for being here today thank you before there was george floyd before there was brianna taylor there was latasha Holland. Latasha Hollins was a child from our neighborhood, our community, and her murder still is painful 30 years later. It was one of the most darkest days in the history of black Los Angeles, but today is not a day of sadness, nor a, a day of mourning, it's a day of celebration. And today we remember Latasha. Say her name. Natasha. Say her name. Natasha. Say her name. Natasha. Say her name. Natasha. In my closing, I want to thank the Hollins family. We continue to stand with you. 30 years ago, 30 years later, we're still here, David. Rest in peace, Denise. And I have to thank Councilman Harris Dawson, my friend, our brother, our leader. When we've asked him to do this, he said yes immediately because he knows the importance of Latasha and how much she meant to this community. So we thank Councilman Harris Dawson for his leadership in making sure this was done. So thank you, Councilman. Thank you, thank you uh, Naji Ali. All right, I want to call forward uh, one of my colleagues on the City Council. Uh, I'll have you know the mayor and all of the City Council uh, have supported and endorsed the renaming of this playground. Uh, for Latasha Harlins, but we have our special neighbor uh, from just to the east of us, Councilman Curran Price. Thank you, Councilman. I'm, I'm just so honored to, to join with you, CDA, as we pay respects to Latasha. 
and our respect to the families. Some of us, as I look around, we're, we're around them, so we cannot forget uh, what occurred. We can't forget, we will always remember uh, the impact that her murder had on our community. Uh, a young child, merely going to the store, uh, it just underscores the fact that everyone deserves dignity, respect, uh, and, and to be treated fairly. So, uh, this is just a token of our appreciation, a token of our ongoing uh, understanding and support, uh, not just for the family, but for all the families in our community that have been impacted uh, by gun violence and uh, are certain we have to make a change. We're serious about the improving condition of our community. So we're here to celebrate, to remember, and not to forget. We have Laura King. Laura King is the daughter of Rodney King, the CEO of the Rodney King Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing about Laura King, she continues to her father's legacy. And no one can forget what happened to your father. And the Harlins family, the King family, are close friends. We continue to be united. And you can't think about Latasha Harlins without thinking about Rodney King. You can't think about Rodney King without thinking about Latasha Harlins. Mm -hmm. um, first, give an honor to God because we are here and we are celebrating her life. Um, secondly, to um, Denise, she's not here. Rest in peace. We miss her. And this moment is her. She fought so hard for this moment. So for us to be here, it's an honor. Secondly, to the Harlem family, I love you guys unconditionally. And there would be no Rodney King riots without Latasha. So please understand that and know that her life is not in vain. She should be here with us, but she's not. So we're honoring this moment. I'm just happy to be here. Um, I just continue to tell everybody, let's continue to serve the community. We need hope. We're still in the same situation. This is 30 years later. We should not be here. We are in America. So let's fight. Let's fight for injustice. Let's fight for her life. Let's fight for our life. Because tomorrow's not promised. I'm just honored to be here, everybody. Have a good day. First, I want to say, give an honor to God, the head of my life. Second, I honestly appreciate <laughs> deeply um, every more support. My family, we are all at a loss for words right now. Um, I have so much to say in so little time, so I'm going to try to get it out in a couple of minutes. Um, words may be lost, uh, but I am truly humble. 30 years later, my mama moved into dress. And it was a start of her trying to get justice for Latasha. So, I remember I was 14. I remember walking up, going up to the courts every single day, screaming, no justice, no, no peace. peace, no justice, no, no peace. peace. Every day, every day, every day. And here we are, 30 years later, and may my mama rest in peace. And I'm praying that she is shining her light on us as I speak. And I know that she fought, she shed tears, she shed blood, she went broke, she went homeless, trying to get the perfect justice. And soon as I do, 30 years later, ain't been brought up, ain't been brought up on charges. She yeah. living her life, okay? We, the family, are mourning. The community is mourning. But I am humbled again. I am grateful that Netflix sponsored the mural, that the city has honored Latasha by dedicating the park that we grew up in, that we played in, that a movie will be coming out later on in the year. The Latasha Harris Scholarship Fund, we introduced. The Tall Images Memory of Latasha, Latasha Harlins will be out soon. And those going to be outreach programs to the community. Um, the short documentary that's on Netflix, The Love Song for Latasha, has been nominated for Oscar! Yes! Yeah, you don't know how excited I am. Um, I'm overjoyed once again. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. I love you. Um, I'm going to close with um, Latasha Shield, and this is what she wrote. I am very reliable and trustworthy, honest. I like that I'm confident about myself. I have a lot of talent, and I know that whatever I set my mind on something, I'm going to accomplish it. 
I show people that I care by giving what I have to people who actually need it. I also show that I care by showing respect to all the adults and ones my age and younger. I know I care. This is words of a 14 year old at the time. Um, what I have, what I want most in life is to fulfill my goal as being an attorney. I also want to graduate from high school with the utmost perfect GPA to go to college. I am most important, the most important thing to me is that my family is always protected by a shield so that they won't be harmed or by, by dangerous, ruthless, uncaring people. Mm. If I had one wish, it would be to get my mother back to me. May my auntie rest in peace. Three descriptive words my friends would probably give me are I'm caring, sharing, and very polite to others. Latasha Harlins, February the 6th, 1991. Again, these are the words from a 14 year old. Okay, again, I would want to thank my entire family. We came so far, we got so far to go. This is only the beginning for us, I do believe. Um, I want to thank the councilman. Thank you. Our uh, Zoom meeting just said, yes, it's the go. Yes. We never doubt it. Uh, I'm humble. I'm grateful for everything that you have done and are about to do with the, with the park. Um, I'm grateful to see a young African American man in the community that wants more for our community. Where we stand today in supporting the Latasha Harlins uh, family. We deeply, we are honored and we're grateful for everything that you have showed us, all the love that you poured into us. Thank you again. Thank you for everybody. News media, thank you, thank you, thank you. One, 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 one. Love you guys. The Harlan's family, uh, the King family, uh, the Record Parks Department of the City of Los Angeles who stepped up, uh, Naji Ali who helped pull this together, Community Build, uh, who provides services in this park but also helped us facilitate this today. Uh, because uh, we believe uh, that this soul is important to our city and important to the nation, uh, we place this mural here because we believe that uh, Latasha Harlins is important in the struggle for justice. <coughs> Mississippi has got Emmett Till, Florida's got Trayvon Martin, Los Angeles has Latasha Harlins. Uh, and because of all that, we will rename the playground where Latasha Harlins played, which is just behind us, the Latasha Harlins Playground. And we will commemorate that on April 29th of this year, the anniversary of the civil unrest uh, that started in this community. And so we will unfurl the, the mock sign that will be there on April 29th of this year. Family, come on, family, I want y'all to leave. This is just a temporary sign. It's gonna get permanent real soon, y'all. Real wood, they're carving it right now. We're gonna bring it and install it April 29th of this year. I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank the media for covering this very, very important event for our community and the cause of justice everywhere. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. A big round of applause for Netflix as well. Woo